Hello, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I organized my new bookcase or bookcases because I also organized that one back here. I very recently posted a bookshelf tour and almost immediately after that, I moved. Well, I didn't move. I moved to a different room in my house, but I still live in the same house. Anyway, I had mentioned in that bookshelf tour that my sister was moving out and I was going to take her room. So that situation has unfolded and now this is my room and my dad built me some lovely new bookcases to match the ones that I had in my old room. This is a video all about me just organizing all my books onto it because I sort of did a little shift around, changed the way I was organizing things. Yeah, so I don't have much to say right now. I talk in the clips about what I'm doing, obviously, so I'm just going to let past me take it away and talk you through this whole organization process. Okay, so as you can see behind me, the shelves are partially done. We just need to put a couple more up. We ran out of brackets and screws, so those are gonna go up Wednesday or this weekend. It's Monday today. If you can see, I have stacks of books here. Where is it? I can't even point to it. I have a stack of books here. There's books on my dresser and books on the floor. And there's also books here. What I'm gonna do in the meantime before we put in the last shelves is I'm gonna divide them up and alphabetize them because they got all messed up when I was moving my books in here. So, so I have this little uh, post-it note. The top half was my nonfiction sections that I already went through. Those shelves have been set up the whole time. So back here, nonfiction all set up. There's the air conditioner, and over here is poetry in place. So all the nonfiction's done, and I've got some little notes of what I'm thinking are gonna be my genres, and I'm gonna go grab my laptop here and pull up Storygraph because some things I think are classics, but I don't wanna put them in the classic section unless other people agree that they're also classics. So yeah, because I'm doing genres, I've got classics, and modern classics as separate but like adjacent categories. And then I've got children's classics, which I'm just gonna pull off. They're all on that shelf down at the end of the hallway. And then I've got regular children's and middle grade, um, my YA, which is already in its own place as well, but I'm just gonna pull it out and make sure it's alphabetized. And then contemporary fiction. And then I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna see how much I actually have of these. Um, but I was thinking about doing a sci-fi fantasy category and a mystery crime category, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna um, establish what I have and then go from there. So let's get started. Okay, so I have cleared the shelf off. I've left my Harry Potter collection there just because I think I want it there, sort of separated because it's kind of large, but I think I want to put my DVDs on here. I have a big basket down here, if you can see, of DVDs. So I think I want to load those up and then figure out the Harry Potter and then see how much room I have, if I can maybe fit the children's in middle grade. But now I have all the books here and I'm going to first do that shelf and then I'm going to start alphabetizing, organizing, all this stuff. shelf all set up. Um, my DVDs are on the bottom here. My Harry Potter stuff um, goes about here and I managed to fit all my children's and middle grade. Um, well, children's except classics. Yeah, and then my vacuums here, I just, in here are the little vacuum pieces. These are some photos that I have to hang up, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks pretty okay and um, there's a little bit of extra growth room there, which is always nice to have. So that one's all done. Now I need to attack all of this.
Okay, so I just got through the YA and I'm about to start going through the children's classics and putting them in alphabetical order. They weren't before, they were sort of grouped like by series or style, like the hardbacks were all together. So I'm gonna go through and organize that. But I wanted to pull up Storygraph, see if any of my books in my regular children's middle grade section are considered classics based on Storygraph. So like The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, not a classic. Um, the Giver is considered a classic. So I'll go grab that. There we go. Um, some of them I just know instinctively that they're not classics, but some of them I'm not sure about. So something like His Dark Materials, that's a series, but I don't know if anyone considers it classic. No. So we won't put that on there. What else do I have? Um, what about Walk Two Moons, Sharon Creech? No, so we're good. Um, I think that's all I have that I would question whether it's a classic. I mean, I'm almost certain Stargirl is not. Yeah, no. So, although it says YA, not middle. So maybe I'll move it to YA, hold on. Okay, Stargirl. Um, and I think this is technically how they are separated, but YA and middle grade and like adult fiction that I think is supposed to be how old the characters are. So this makes sense that this is YA. So I'm gonna slot it in the S's. Okay, so that's all of that. I'm gonna push this out of the way for now. I'm gonna resume my episode of Friends and I'm gonna go through and alphabetize these now. Okay, so the only thing I'm not gonna alphabetize is this box set. This is the Penguin Puffin in Bloom. The Puffin in Bloom collection. Um, and so I'm not gonna alphabetize these because they're a box set and they're all by different authors, but I wanna keep them together because they're so gorgeous and they're all in the same style. And I, I like to keep my box sets in the actual boxes. So these are not gonna be alphabetized. I'm either gonna put these just at the start or at the end. Um, now I need to move all these out of the way so I can get to these stacks. So I think I'm just going to stack them up in front of the shelves for now. I'm not going to keep them there because um, otherwise we'll, they'll be in the way when we're trying to put in the last couple shelves. So I'm just going to stack them there for now, start sorting through all my other stuff and um, figure out later where I want to store them for the next couple days. go somewhere else so that I can grab them easily because I'm currently reading the series for the first time. It's, it's um, been an experience so far. We're gonna check this one in Storygraph. Okay, Beloved is a classic, so I'm gonna put the rest of my Toni Morrison in Modern Classics. A new pile. I'm gonna have to sort through the classics after to see if any other fit in my modern classics section, but that's a problem for a little bit later. See, I just looked it up. The Kite Runner is under classics, but A Thousand Splendid Sons isn't. I think The Kite Runner is just too new to be considered a classic, because when was it released? 2003. I think if it's in the 2000s, it's too soon to be a classic. Um, hold on, there's one of a bunch of Lewis I, I think, is before 90, 1970. Song of Solomon, 77. Okay, those are fine. But I think these are too new to be considered classics, so it's just gonna go in my contemporary pile. The Satanic Verses might be considered a classic. It says classics, what about Midnight's Children? You know, and then your, your nice gesture would be giving it to me at a reasonable price, say $1,500? It says literary magical realism. I'm gonna put these in modern classics with the Tony Morrison. I wonder if any Murakami is considered classic, but I don't really want to put Murakami in 
a classic section. Literary. Nothing in classics. So good. Remember our copy stack? I'm just gonna slide it over here. Okay, now I was gonna do a crime mystery, so then really I should have grabbed the Sherlock Holmes. Let me do that. No, you know what? I'm gonna grab it after, but let me just remember that I have like a crime section going, mystery section. Oh, well, here's a Sherlock Holmes, so I'll throw that on the pile. What about White Noise by Don DeLillo? That was in a class I took called Modern Classics. No. So, Don DeLillo, you're just gonna be in regular. Contemporary fiction. Marquez, I think, is modern. Classic. Yeah. Garcia Marquez, modern classic. Forrester, also, I think, is technically in my modern. Oh no. It's not regular classics. But Hemingway, I've already pulled out some of my Hemingway. Let me check. I think this just doesn't make it either. 29? I'm gonna put Hemingway with regular classics. Let's see if it comes up this time. Not really what I consider modern classics. I accidentally put Camus in here. That's a classic. So this is some of the stacks. There's obviously still. Hold on, let me just pause the TV. So obviously there's still all this stuff here and back there, but here's a big C of books. I'm going to start trying to alphabetize some of these um, and like continue separating them out where I think they need to be. Okay, this is where we're at now. This is just like regular contemporary fiction. So far, al alphabetized. This is classics alphabetized. This is modern classics alphabetized. That's the mystery crime alphabetized. That's its own thing. This is sci-fi fantasy alphabetized, which I don't think I have much more sci-fi fantasy, so this might just get integrated into the rest of this stuff. But now it's time to tackle these stacks, and I'm just going to update you when I'm done with that, probably. Okay, so I've just got a bit more to separate and alphabetize. These are in, these are classics, these are regular fiction. Um, and I think I've decided that I'm going to disperse the mystery and sci-fi fantasy out among into the different sections just because I don't think I have enough of them to actually constitute their own entire section on the bookcase so I'm just gonna disperse those out yeah so I'm just gonna have three or I guess four sections basically I'll have or I guess it's five sections of children's classics classics modern classics fiction like contemporary regular fiction and YA and then of course I've got like my children's middle grade on its own shelf down at the end of the hall I'm almost done alphabetizing and I'll show you when that's all finished and then I have to get to stacking. Okay I've got them all lined up now. These obviously I need to mix in and those books there that I'm currently reading I need to remember to get those for spacing later. Um, but here we have like contemporary fiction and that's the YA stuff. And then we have classics here all the way to here. And then these are modern classics. And some of them, like the Dune, is like questionable. But I decided to put it with modern classics because Storygraph says Dune is a classic. So this is basically modern classics is like from within the last hundred years-ish is what I'm considering modern classics. And then the classics are the stuff from before that. Um, 
that are also classics. But now I need to stack all of these. I think I'm going to redo these stacks because I think I put them in the wrong order for how I want to put things away because I'm hoping to just grab big chunks and put them up. And these are like in alphabetical order this way, but it makes more sense to grab chunks if they're in alphabetical order the other way. So I'm going to go do that. And I might actually put some of the stacks on these shelves, but I'm just going to check that my dad was okay if I do that. But yeah, everything is now alphabetized and separated out and I just need to store it until we get the last two shelves done. So doing, where, why won't this focus? Doing good. Check, I need to get my nails done. Whoa. Here, let me turn you around. They are all on the shelf. Now we just need the last two and I can put them away. Um, they're in like reverse alphabetical sort of whatever because the idea is I can just like pick up that stack and put it up where it needs to be and it'll stay in alphabetical order. So Whew. that was a lot of work and I'm totally sweaty. Okay, so that's it for today. That's it for a while until the rest of the shelves are in, but I'll just see you then when we have put the last two shelves up and I'll get to organizing all the books on it at that point. So I'll see you then. Okay, shelves are now done. I also got my hair cut, so, and I haven't styled it myself yet, so ignore if it, the bangs look a little funky because you know when you get your hair cut and the hairdresser like doesn't style it how you would? We're sort of living that right now. So just ignore the bangs for a second, but shelves are up. My dad can wait till Wednesday. So it's Tuesday afternoon. It's the next day. And I'm gonna get started organizing them all nicely. So I'm gonna set you up somewhere so you can see. And we're gonna get going. Okay, oh, this looks worse. I just finished and I'm happy with the setup for now as it is. So I'm gonna leave it, sit with it for a little bit, see how it feels. Let me flip you around so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so that's the whole thing. You can see I do have some empty space, which is always good for growth room. So we've got children's classics, classics, modern classics, um, regular contemporary fiction and young adult. And you can see down here, I had to leave a little gap here for one of the um, power thingies for one of these. It sticks out funny, so I had to do that. But there you go. That's my bookcase set up. And I think it looks really pretty. And I'm really happy with that. And while I'm here, I'll just quickly show you this 
is my poetry and plays. I can't remember if I showed you this, so I'll just show you again. Nonfiction, and again, children's and middle grade, and my DVDs. But wow, I'm happy with that. I think it looks so good. So, wow, I'm obsessed. I think it looks so good. Amazing. All right, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sad to say I won't be making another one of these probably unless I suddenly decide to reorganize everything again, but I don't want to because it's a lot of work. So like this video anyway. I normally say to like the video so I know to make more like this, but I won't be making more like this one. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed it and um, leave a comment saying whatever you'd like to say. If you don't wanna say anything, that's okay. You don't have to leave a comment, but I do like chatting with you guys. So if you have anything to say, leave it down below. I'll read it and most likely respond. And um, subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff from me. And um, I think that's it. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.